Hi, David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Well, in oh, a few moments, right, we'll okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Like right, quickly, mate, because look down under, under the desk. What's coming up later on tonight on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's the same. You can see a load of video tapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. At 8 p.m. by award-winning documentary series, The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the You should be getting a signal from the studio soon. Not one to miss. At 9 p.m., sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie, the freedom when you get the point. signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh. Oh. Horn of mayonnaise? Mm. Mm. You know CV makes me kind of Yeah, I thought it's it might funny. increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. Oh. Tara show love. You're trying to kill it. And yet you persist. It's going oh. five, four. Oh. But now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. Our main story is tonight. Okay. Moving on up. Next, it's going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all great. By his honest and he's totally independent, and corners the front market. Top chat. Sports fans have celebrated as popular footballer Johnny Hamsley's win sports personality of the year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Vonderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course... We'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on this story. Right. Button That's two, two in three, Natural two, one. Ne lovely, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. The votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. The last now listen mate, we often get a bit of interference around this time of night, so keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. You can move that white door up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vain. The opposition parties have all conceded to have to advance his overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. We'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the co leaders acceptance. And three, two... One advert. One minute back, everybody. I need to do the last one. I'm Ali. This is not a movie. This is not some child's tale. This is not a dream. This is reality. This is the story of you and how you're stupid and asleep. 
words about how you were promised the Elysian Fields, but you ended up filleting Satan for the soul. We hit. We made it to the first damn break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence, because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long, ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Alan James is right in front of you. Alan James. Hi, Alan James. Alan James. Alan James is right. Alan James. I'm Alan Jane. Coming to a city near you. Check Five, local press for dates four, and times. Three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later we'll be hearing from Shock Election winners advance. But first off, Megan Wolf Megan Wolf is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Clatch on screen three when she says Enjoy his name. Day by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among us. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> Right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? <laughs> but seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. Mm. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so <laughs> sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So. If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bleeding, giving, suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire, the little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh, well, don't worry, you won't oh, do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, yeah, he did it I'm again. Really, okay, okay, don't panic. I'll I explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, I've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, 
is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Wow, exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Watch out for that interference, mate. Doctor. I don't understand it. Cool, looks like Blunder Clatch is losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but don't switch to it now. You can go to the Russia's room when the broadcast's done. We keep everything. No, Lance, we mustn't. Think of Carol. It's Dr. Lance to you, Miss Flanagan. No! Did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. We're going to change the world, do you remember? Listen to me. Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late. Look at this! Got it! The virus. The sterility. This folder. This folder. This, this is the key. We can stop it all. Yes! At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. If we should. Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you've probably noticed, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. Loosely. As you turn it up, you'll hear the advert getting louder. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard, one to four. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advanced headquarters I'm told we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit, he's pissed. Get ready to bleep. Go for it, Pat. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, thank you all Where do I start? What a yeah, day. They said we What's couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used they every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us. The people. Nice. You saw right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. I'm sorry about that. I'm not a celebrating pints. It makes me coarser than the grin is funny. Coarser than the grin is funny. Nailed it. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Honest, who can blame Peter Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's Except over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should, they should be putting their shit in pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, nice. colourfully put, but not inaccurate. 
Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort of problem. You, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable tax law. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. Perfect. And earlier today, we revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave? Remember the 10 second rule. First five. The first five. You're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To, fund to raise the living standards of us all. The fund Get back to those talking. Raise billions. But you'll see when billions. we've reclaimed what's we'll ours, that's reclaimed absolute ferret shat. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve you drinks in their no private dear. clubs. The, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. Nice. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. Perfect. Well, an interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leader of the acceptance speech and there. our apologies for the fruity language. And our apologies Hopefully for the fruity we've got language. that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for so, new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be, back, we'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under the full coverage I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for real, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Chop's yours, mate. Good luck. Oh, oh, crazy deal. Oh, we don't care. It's super naughty or nice. We got green filter. Red silver. You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, nope, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. We'll return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours. Get that government in your job, eh? Alright, Gary's a big, and you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads. Tips, Wank, Tony! Yay! Perfectly capable of oh, fuck you! Oh, this mad fool package has given me an electric shock! Oh, thank 
Greetings go out to our guests, and congratulations to all the winners of the Sports World Final. Fucking microphone just dropped me. Where's that sound guy?